Hey, testing, testing, one, two, three, four, attention! You filthy earth stink beasts, prepare to meet your moosey fate as you embark on the Tokyo Black Hour Death Podcast. <laughs> I am Zim, ready to rain down doom. Welcome back, everybody, to the Tokyo Black News in Review, episode 111. And unfortunately, you have the three amigos, the greatest people of all time, who are who have graced every episode besides two for Jermaine. You have yes. Brandon. What up? You have Jermaine. What up, what up, what up, what up? You have said Jamal. I always like when Megan said that. I'm said girlfriend. I hate when people say that shit. Like, what did y'all start saying that? <laughs> I don't I'm even know what girl. that shit means. <laughs> Brandon's just like, mm. Well, I mean, what? I'm said girlfriend? I say where I make my girlfriend, and she's like, I'm the girlfriend I'm that's sick. referenced know, in the, the title. Yeah. And that, oh, cool, oh. <laughs> hey, Jamal. Say what, Cracker? <laughs> <laughs> you speaking gibberish, you say. <laughs> said girlfriend, you know, said job. Huh? Okay, whatever. You like the second person said that shit. And I looked you like, I looked at the last motherfucker like that. Country ass nigga, you know every time I understand something, it's, it's, it's not in the same space as mine. It's, it's, it's country, country ass nigga. That's it. Mm-mm-mm. My apologies. Country All right, ass. So crack. moving on, who's the first state to show his or her nuts dragging across the United States of America, telling you COVID nineteen wasn't real, and my family would die. For the economy, Brandon. Who 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 the first person? Who the first state to say that? Yeah, it was Texas, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. His, his family chose the Reaper. <laughs> his family jewels, boy. He, that's why I said his are hurting us. I don't really know how you want to put that, but bro, they got one million COVID cases. They got more COVID cases than a small country. <laughs> 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 Bro, <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> uh, I believe. The, I believe the correct response was. Ha! 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 Living in America. Moving on. <laughs> we just want to put that out there, Texas. We do appreciate you putting your foot in the water first. You let us know Jaws was in the water. <laughs> I'm very appreciative of these people and their ancestors walking off the walking off the cliff. <laughs> Cause them niggas want they political party to win. Y'all niggas cuckoo. I mean, technically nobody's got any COVID cases because it's not real. Yeah, those numbers are all made up. <laughs> Nigga, what? You trying to find the odds too? Just, I see you. I see you say something different. <laughs> yeah, those numbers are made up to make Texas look bad. It is what it is. You know, they are they America's country, boy. <laughs> Moving on to the upper room. Oh, oh goddamn. It's been a great day. Death stalks you at every turn. Grandpa? Well, it does. Ah, there, there it is. Death. Unfortunately, Death took a break this week because they ain't got nobody. <laughs> what? <laughs> I swear I seen six niggas die last week. I know them. Uh, if you can name them, yeah. I mean, they with the wind now, so fucking. RIP to all those people who caught COVID. Yeah, we, we ain't talking about the people who caught We talking about these other bastards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, So moving on, these stories are from November the 9th all the way to November the 16th, 2020. And guess what, guys? What up? We're going to get into some good old American news, boy. Because what? This Trump America, boy. No, no, no. Hey, Brandon, I just told Brandon some new shit. I told Brandon, I'm sorry, Cracker. They're Biden time. (laughs) No, no, no. You have me confused with Hunter Biden. Biden time. (laughs) We still should have made them. This some this Trump America boy. Hey, you spell boy B O I. Oh, I love it. He get all the black people in the community and pep up. Like, you see how he spell boy? He cool. He <laughs> fucked up. We terrible. I said it. Moving on to the update of the coronavirus celebrity list. <laughs> Elon Musk. 
He may have COVID nineteen. <laughs> this nigga fake. has all the money in the world, and he still catches COVID. Y'all think it's fake? <laughs> Jeremiah, he was in <laughs> ICU all last week <laughs> in his birthday up. suit. <laughs> Who? Brandon don't know that song. Jeremiah, he look up all. Jeremiah birthday suit. Oh, he's the guy that did the song "Birthday Suit." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, that was his first hit for that motherfucker. But yeah, he got that. He got that wrong. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. It's it, it, it like, I, did anybody I, I, famous get the Rona? <laughs> Elon Musk. Okay, fair enough. God damn, bro! It was a lot of celebrities who got the Rona. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck are y'all niggas doing? Y'all ain't got no work. You what are ain't they got doing? nothing to do. What you doing? They're going to birthday parties on private islands with like 50 other motherfuckers who got tested negative, quote unquote. You know what I mean? What are they, they doing? They're having a goddamn orgy. <laughs> Dude, they're throwing Bruh. birthday parties, going to Ibiza, the whole nine. Yeah. These motherfuckers been yelling the fucking COVID quick test. They ain't accurate. I'm like, Dude, why y'all keep giving them out? God damn it, motherfucker, go there and get 29 goddamn negatives and one positive. Well, you know, you might be all right. Yeah, that's fucking... <laughs> Bro, Erica yeah. Badu been tested five times. She got four negative and one positive and one nostril. I'm saying, bro, what are y'all doing? And the words of my big brother, what are we doing? <laughs> Wasting time buying that shit from China. Who's <laughs> getting the money, man? That shit got lead poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and you got to show that to... shit. What about that? Remember that motherfucker who got his brain punctured and his fucking juices was leaking out? That was a woman. That was a woman. Die, dude, whoever it was, man, come on, dude. Yeah. And then everything smelled like nickels. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Yeah. Bruh, shit my problem like burnt with the plastic. COVID test is, bro. They took all the professionalism out of it. They let niggas on the street get themselves COVID tests. No, you don't give a needle to a motherfucker and tell him to put this IV in you. I need a professional. Isn't that strange? <laughs> that, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's worse. They won't even come out there and check you, B. Rock. Here's a Q-tip, nigga. Go high. <laughs> if it tingles and you lose memory <laughs> you there <laughs> right if I can feel my eyeball about to pop out of the socket because I'm pressing on the back of it yeah man what <laughs> hell no I'll just if go home little, if, if a little piece of meat come out when you do it shake it on the floor we don't want to see that that's right. nasty if I got to give myself a frontal fucking lobotomy to damn get, get this test I'd rather just not have the test you know I'm sick of these people. And I'm just say one more thing. I was on a list of the radio, talk radio, and they were talking about um, how we was in, how Dr. Fauci said we need to go back into a full close down or whatever. We was already in a full, a full close, you know, a full um, shut down. You know, now we don't like a partial shut down. I want to tell you people something. Anybody tell you that? They lying to you. You know why? I'm going to say it real black. Nigga, we ain't never been on no full lockdown. <laughs> you know why? Brandon went to work. <laughs> Jamal went to work. <laughs> Jermaine went to work. I was there. You cannot have a lockdown where you telling fifty percent of people to stay home, and the other fifty percent of the essential people, who are normally the poor people, keep going to work for the people who got money to work at home. You just swapping the shit. Every motherfucker still able to go to the beach, <laughs> go to the gas station. Bruh. That, a full lockdown is AK forty seven. You leave your house and it's a wrap, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, we, we dropping your rations on the front door. <laughs> am I right or am I wrong? Were we in the full lockdown? No. <laughs> now, why Texas goddamn looking like us money got more COVID cases than a small country? Right. <laughs> you got more COVID cases in Italy right now? How is that possible? <laughs> because these niggas are unruly. These niggas see nothing but cash. I said, what, bruh? A nigga told me, if I, if I had to cut my business down, I'd be out of business for good. I said, nigga, in the words of me, you ain't got to worry about the bank closing you down. COVID will close you down. Don't worry about it. Like, what? It's absurd. This nigga said he needs his... This nigga is six months behind on his rent. I said, nigga, cut, cut it. No more. No mice. Like, what? <laughs> 
Don't keep digging your own grave. He 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 got the PPP loan and said he's gonna help him out. I said, You got a loan on a business with another loan? You struggling now. I could not understand the B Rock. Nigga getting them PPP, them PPE loans. Bruh, you get it at a cheap. What they say, Jamal, you get it at a cheap um Well no, nah, the PPP loan you supposed to be able to uh as long as you keep everything under the guidelines, you want to pay it back. But you got to keep that for like a whole year and a half or some shit. Hey, you, you know how many niggas got some much interest charges on they, they other loans on top of the other loan with some more loans? Nigga, you got five loans for a chicken business. You done. <laughs> 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 I, I'm sorry. The government should have not told people to close down, right? <laughs> but yeah. if you motherfucker, we, y'all nigga actually went out and voted and drove <laughs> half of y'all out of business right now. Yeah, living in uh, America. Living in America. It's like, bro, I don't understand. You said ain't. I'm gonna tell you something right now. You know, you know when I knew it was real. Two things happened in the last three months. What's that? Church has still been closed down. <laughs> ain't he no back. That ain't never happened. And God ain't never missed six months worth of payment. Yeah, true that. And you can no longer go in a Chinese restaurant, bro. Three months ago, I could still go in a Chinese restaurant. Every Chinese restaurant you go to, they got that shit blocked off at the front door. You make your order here, and they're talking behind the glass. I'm like, nigga, I just came here last week. What happened? <laughs> 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 did, did y'all get some extra information that we missed out on? <laughs> and then all the Chinese restaurants won't let you in their building no oh, more? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I ain't thinking about it like that. <laughs> the first Never thing I was like, world. you right. That was strange, nigga. You went in hard. The first thing I thought about, nigga, I can't buy no food like this, nigga. I got to see my meat before I purchase my meat. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, not that one. They got the menu on the glass. And you Hell, no, nah, I don't want to see that shit. I need to see what your actual meat look like. You don't do that shit, Brandon? At a Chinese restaurant? Well, yeah. you know, we go, we go over here. I was all cooked in the back. We don't eat those hood Chinese. Like oh, my bad. Style. You know, when you go to the hood, all your shit be laid out in front. I got to be like, that meat don't look good. That burger. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why you looking so stuck. Like, nigga, all our meat. It's like the, it's like the fucking mall at all our China cafeteria and restaurants out here. All mm. our meat out there in the front. What's yeah, some of that right. fresh meat on that shit? Don't be rolling that shit around yeah. at the bottom. <laughs> what? What? But if I but if I'm getting like Chinese food, then I'm getting it like ordered. You know, I don't know that I've ever I don't know that I ever go into a Chinese restaurant. I eat plenty of Chinese food, but I don't like if I'm eating Chinese food. Typically, I'm getting it like delivered. You know, this this nigga already right. been in quarantine. He only ain't left the house in fucking twenty years. Who me? Yeah, shit, besides shit. for work. Yeah, nah, I've I've been out and done some stuff. You know. I mean, it was all like kind of open air shit. I ain't been rubbing elbows with a motherfucker, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know. he been he been a, he been at a sex party lately. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> a I'm a reasonably healthy adult, so I'm not like super, no laser tag. I ain't super afeard of it, but yeah, I ain't done no like rugby matches or nothing <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> you ain't been a club blaze with forty two people breathing <laughs> behind your neck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah. Nigga went to the backyard fucking wrestling match. Oh yeah, it's going down. <laughs> they standing close. They standing side by side <laughs> like this. We are the world. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, fucking assholes, and elbows up in there. Nah, I ain't been to like Sutra dancing all night and shit. Yeah, yeah. I wish yeah, I would. Yeah, well, uh, moving crazy. on. This is all. This is all about a <laughs> shit. It was good American news. We just went on a ramble. It was a damn good one though. This is the, this is outrageous and outlandish. I hate when people use outlandish. Outlandish is the one of the most ridiculous words to ever throw at a nigga. <laughs> but now Trump legal machine grinds to a halt. Bro, Trump been suing everybody, and now he keep coming back with his L's. Dude, he is an L it. factory, dude. <laughs> Every time I hear about one of those <laughs> lawsuits, it was like the judge simply said this is whack and shot it down. You know, is the short and long of it. Man, I wish I could remember what that one judge said. He was just like, "Come on, bro." Pretty much. That was, yeah. I'm he paraphrasing, like, when but this shit going to stop being ridiculous. That's what I just <laughs> seen on television a second ago. He's like, "When is this going to stop being ridiculous?" <laughs> bro. He was a Republican judge. <laughs> bro, they said two things. They said Trump know he going to lose, but he want to keep his core base. He want to see him as a fighter. 
And you know, I'm I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna break something down to you, edu- uneducated people. Me, Jermaine, and Brand ain't the smartest people in the world, but we kind of cut the we cut the slice of American pie. We eat a little bit of it, you know. You know who paid for that goddamn recount that he doing? Us. <laughs> you know who paid for his campaign Us. as he asking for more lawsuit and recount? <laughs> Us. <laughs> you motherfuckers are losing money on a. If you got a gimpy horse, you don't put all your money on the gimpy horse. <laughs> this is right. <laughs> you take him out back and do what it has they to al- be done. They always say don't bet with your heart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> don't be it's, feeling it's, sad for a nigga. It's good it advice. It's to the point, bro. It's, like I told you, bro. I thought Trump was going to win. I didn't see you getting monkey stone. It's over with, bro. You just wasting time. Yeah, like bro. Brandon said, kick your feet back, smoke a cigar, free some people, get your, get your, shit, get your shit in line, and they told me he's going to come back in 2024. I guarantee you right now, you can listen to it on the Tokyo Black. Episode 111, 11 six twenty. They will not go with that nigga for another four years, bro. When he right, come man. out of four more years, the Republicans have they just cleaned up their mess. Nah, hell no. Nah. We can't have this again. But they can't do shit. The nigga, he won the same way every other Republican won. He threw money in people's faces. You gotta accept this nigga because the people asked for this nigga. They yeah, ain't picking they won- they- Huh? They won't do him. They won't do him another four years. I don't, and then Mike Pence him, but he gonna throw his hat in the ring. <laughs> man, uh, bro. Man, please. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'll tell you this. Man. I'll tell you this much. He may not have to run as a Republican. Go though. He could run as an independent. Yeah. Blow the shit out. But do you really Ooh, think he can hold Brandon, his core base know? for four years, bro? He can hold no. them forever. These folks are fighting in the streets. With well, Trump flags. I'm like, what's wrong with you niggas? Go home. Y'all got families to feed. Y'all got a job. But like my brother said, we can see you. <laughs> I don't know. Can he hold a base for four years? Why not? I don't know. Yeah, they're, he can't give them nothing now. They're really the rabid. Coming in, the coming in Biden hands now. Right. They're really rabid for this motherfucker, though. Like, Now, you tell me. I don't know. Me, Will his star Brandon. fade? Tell me this shit, Brandon. If this nigga housed the meeting every weekend, this nigga can be fucking Lollapalooza, fucking, what is it, Earth Day, all that shit. Fucking, he can have a meeting every weekend, bro. His crowd would get bigger and bigger. But and four what? years, he'll have enough niggas to vote him in as an independent, like you said. And he ain't got to do shit. He ain't got to make no more promises. What you is, nigga? I'm independent. Y'all do y'all. Y'all do y'all. <laughs> but, re- but remember, the problem is with that situation is he don't want to do that shit. He ain't gonna host no more parties. He ain't gonna be flying out to talk to a crowd of hillbillies. In, 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 please, you oh. you really think you really think Trump gonna go out to Florida in some swamp land to talk to sixty people, dude? This mother, he, he ain't gonna have to. I guarantee you, he gets a radio show or a fucking like TV show of some sort. You know. And then he'll fucking be... talk to motherfuckers like that. He'll be he'll be back on TV for sure. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. But I don't know if he can hold a base for four years. But if he can, Bruh, he don't even have to see nobody. Brandon just told you, nigga. If he has a show, them niggas will watch that shit twenty four hours a day, bro. It's gonna be they live all over again. Like look at these niggas with these big eyes and skeleton faces. Yeah. I don't. I don't know though. Like. I think some Republicans were sick of him, but probably had felt they had to vote for him just because they couldn't vote for fucking Joe Biden. You know, man, I put a hundred dollars on him. He'll run as an independent and, 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 and fucking fuck up, fuck up everybody's shit. Oh, I, I, guarantee guarantee you, I get both of you niggas a hundred dollars. Oh, I guarantee you he tries to run again. Yeah. We'll see how that work. I'm right, moving on to this guy. You know, we all appreciate him. I call him a stand up guy. <laughs> New York Times. This story is from the New York Times. Rudy Giuliani to put in charge of Trump election lawsuit after series of laws. From Jermaine, what you say, Jermaine? <laughs> Man, he won't pull out of that deal. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he is absurd. This this nigga is just the worst nigga in the world. 
<laughs> this nigga should never sleep. He should sleep standing up for the rest of his life. After I seen that little picture of him with his back on that bed and that belt flying up, I said, bro, you in the mood, nigga. He That's looks, the mood. He looks Once like you it. do that, everybody gets some pussy. I mean, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hurt the kids. <laughs> He looks like he's about to crawl out of a casket every night. That <laughs> motherfucker is looking like Nosferatu nowadays. Yeah. He's oh yeah, he's terrible. He's scary looking as a motherfucker. He looked like a, I don't know, man. Yeah, he looked like Uncle Fester would have with age terribly. <laughs> Giuliani is on the Titanic at the bottom, trying to throw the water out the bottom of the ship. It's a wrap, cuz. You better leave. The water spectrum. It's looked- a wrap, cuz. Uh, moving on to Fox. This is from Fox News. Hey, man, hold on. I'm just saying, hey, look. Go ahead, Jermaine. I just want to say one more thing before we get out that story. He is going to follow this nigga to the grave. Like we just said before, he got all this money. He don't need to be fucking with Trump no more. But he going <laughs> to go on. <laughs> well, yeah, you about right. And then Trump cut him off and snitch on about that goddamn Borax shit. It's a wrap. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I wouldn't put Rudy Giuliani in as the forerunner of anything. Uh, he needs to go. He needs to go sit down for a little bit and let that cool Bro, off. He is know? still in the news. Like he ain't even did that shit. And every time I see his face, that's all I can think about. Pull out game. He <laughs> owned the Titanic with a bucket, throwing the water out the window. <laughs> yeah. Keep we on going, bro. Like... Shit, get up to your neck now. <laughs> he looks like a goblin almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what he looks like? He's like a whale aged gargoyle <laughs> that hasn't got his <laughs> wing. <laughs> he looked like that old motherfucking gargoyle that was on gargoyles. Y'all remember? Yeah. <laughs> he just ain't as cool looking. Yeah, you're right. Uh, moving on to Fox News. Boy, I love Fox News. It's still Trump America, boy. Now, it took me a minute to understand this because I, you know, I, I couldn't grasp it at first, but the the article said no creativity whatsoever here, people. Uh, thousands of pro-Trump supporters descend on D.C. for million mega march near White House. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, the I, can't, you know they can't bro, create I that. The good. whole slick this. Did you catch it? Yeah, the million mega march. Yeah. No, bro. They and said the thousands of pro-Trump supporters descend on D.C. for a million mega march. Thousand. They didn't even oh, have a million, bro. They didn't even have 30,000. <laughs> oh, they caught me off guard. <laughs> like, did that Fox dude don't straight this, that man. Thousands of pro Trump supporters descend on DC for million mega man march. Me, I mean, um, mega. <laughs> I wish million it was a mega, mega man march. That would have ruled. Bro, it's like about 30,000 people. How y'all gonna have a million? Y'all niggas couldn't even get a whole million, huh? Well, these niggas ain't got to go to work. <laughs> I'm confused because these niggas got great jobs. Like y'all can just call off until y'all got a mega rally. Like, well, what? yeah, shit. You know, your boss probably like, are you going to mega? You good? Just, I said, if you tell your boss you're going to a mega rally here, and what you what, what he gonna tell you? Living in America. Shit, you fired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say I feel good. <laughs> 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 then they gonna be on the street sleeping with their mega hat. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, bitch, take care of yourself first, and then you worry about mega last. Moving on to somebody, two people who I don't know what, I don't know how long they gonna last. But Jared and Ivanka are opposed to return back to Manhattan social life. They no longer wants them. <laughs> oh yeah, they are yeah. mad, ostracized. Did, did yeah. I skip out right there? No, you're good. Oh, so this shit fun. Like, nobody want to hang out with them. Not even Creepy Pete. Ain't no Trump support over here, mate. <laughs> 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 Creepy Pete won't even hang with them. You know they fucked up. Right. They're going to be I didn't shunned by everybody. How much money did you bring? It's me, Ivanka. It's Biden, American girl. Get out of here. Yeah. We don't fuck with losers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Low class ass. Low class. <laughs> Do you, you think they can go back to their old friends? Well, I guess rich people can do that anyway, right? They just people they be like, whatever, man. We don't care about that shit. You got uh, drugs? I ain't it weird though, bro? I ain't even think about that shit till I seen it on news. I was like, damn, y'all motherfuckers just ostracized. Nobody fuck with you anymore. Did y'all think about this shit before pre-election? Or y'all thought y'all dick was this big? That big? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That imagine. motherfucker huge. When creepy Pete won't hang out with you, you got a problem, mate. But, Sorry, yeah. Bub. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, bro. bub. Yeah, Even but I, ain't got I mean, they do have political juice now, so they I, they won't be friendless. I can guarantee you that. Do you, know? <laughs> you want to be friends with old Republicans or young Republicans? Nah, they want they gonna be friends with snakes. <laughs> Everybody yeah, snake and goddamn government got pool pit. Snakes, yeah, ghouls and motherfucking looking like <laughs> Gorgamel. Like nigga, you was an adult. Why you look like Gorgamel? <laughs> good looking, Ivanka. Pretty lady. Moving I like, on. I think she's hot, but you know, otherwise than that, yeah, whatever, bro. They gonna they gonna have to go to a little small little country where nobody know them and just buy up everything they can. Ain't nobody gonna be them. They motherfucking friends. They'll be all right, people. When you got money, everybody your friend. Even I got a couple people are going over here. Of uncle, yeah. Mother conspiracy. Turn down for what? Mother conspiracy theory is they'll run a vodka in twenty twenty four. Nah, that right? shit won't. That shit won't work. I don't know. She's going to make America great again, and she's something to look at. Look at Joe Biden. You're right. You think, yeah. you think daddy finna let his little kids outshine him? Hell no. That nigga a narcissist, nigga. He got to have the attention. He ain't even yeah. give it to them. I don't know if he was smart, you know, then she could make nigga, him what you, secretary yeah. or whatever. Or if he ran as her vice president and get back in office, you know, I don't know. There's a lot of now ways he could said, you know, Trump is an evil genius, but that that, that that whole interview with Bob Woodward, that shit should have shunk his body ship, and that nigga just kept moving. Dude. And we don't even talk about it no more. Yeah, he just shrugs his shoulders and shit just fucking, yeah, he's truly a Teflon shit. Don, because that motherfucker, it shit just does not stick to him. People don't give a fuck. I'm, it's amazing. I wish people felt that way about me. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's I just, have more money and more bitches. It's just people can't admit that they're wrong, so they just like totally just glaze over the worst parts of this dude because they can't admit that he's an ass. You know, man, that ain't it, nigga. You know, I what swear, it is. I swear it is. Trump America, boy, we don't see no Trump wrong. America, boy, he, he can't do no wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You could drop a nuke on goddamn uh, on Africa. They'd be like, he did a good job. That no, one dude no said, nigga, what? <laughs> that one dude said he had god tier genes. What? When you look that at that guy, still blow your mind, don't it, dude? I, he and the god, I can't get over it. You know what? When you look at that motherfucker, what what jumps out as godly to you? His, <laughs> hey, Jamal. Everything is ungodly. His hair. You know what I'm saying? His body. His Bro, face. What color was this guy, Brandon? Oh, uh, he was fucking as orange as a traffic cone, you know? Bro, yeah. isn't it amazing that a Nick, hey, bro, a, a, a man told another man he got God like. God tier jeans. Nigga, uh. what? Did he lift anything off your spirit? Nigga, did he save <laughs> you from the poor pit? Did he pray you out the house, nigga? How'd you get up? I don't know. It was, that's <laughs> amazing. I love it on to somebody who tried to pray for somebody. Ain't he good though? Won't he will? This is what God give it, and God shall take it away. Some people deserve it, and some people deserve to have it taken away. So let's get to our first story. Thank God for this. Ain't he good though? Won't he will? Man arrested in random attack on Ghostbuster star Rick Moranis in New York. <laughs> it might be good, the only though. time I'm glad a nigga got locked up. <laughs> <laughs> You know we on fuck the right the next time you gonna see Rick Moranis and when his shoes is going in there, his new balance is going in that coffin. <laughs> he may <laughs> never come out of hiding again. You just gonna see them old white new balance. <laughs> they go old Rick. He's going down he's going down to history, Bub. I'm waiting for that guy to snitch on Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Cause Rick Moranis was minding his own business before that fucking mint julep commercial and then next thing you know, he's getting punched in the head. Man, I ain't even thought about that motherfucker until he got punched. I was like, I love Rick Moranis. I'm like, where the fuck he been for a hundred years? Apparently, raising Why his died, children. decided to raise his family. Yeah. Well, Whatever. Don't you don't fucked up your money, right? Yeah, that nigga locked up for good, good. Don't you oh, fuck yeah. with Ricky? Hey, that shit funny. Why are you taking me in a dark room? Oh, Rick Moranis in there with a mace. What kind of mace? <laughs> <laughs> Even he going to spray me? No, nah, nigga, you don't know your ancient maces. He's going to get me to evil on that ass. Armory maces. I don't know what that is, because, nigga, it's going to be a solid piece of steel with spikes. 
It ain't gonna do you no good, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know the nights of the round table. I heard of them. You don't get no sword with this one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> do you know? We already had this conversation, nigga. That if you want to kill a man with a mace, nigga, you are angry. Like what? <laughs> All I could understand, you had to be a, like those people back then had to be in shape, bro. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine America trying to run up? <laughs> we. We overweight, we fat, diabetes, yeah. high blood pressure. Dude, my fucking shoulder's blown out. I got to start fucking flailing around the mace. I'm likely to jerk it out of the socket more than hit you probably. You know what I'm saying? You like, know them people were half fed. How did y'all fight whole wars? Well, you know, <laughs> nigga, if you was an American, nigga, you been on through the mace. Like, this shit heavy. Nigga, y'all fight with these? Yeah. What the guns at? Yeah, like, what the fuck y'all think this is? Nigga, this shit too much work. Nigga, I need, <laughs> I need to work out and shit, go lift some cows. This ain't no weight room back then. Man, oh, moving that, on, that. you don't fuck up your money. So Chris Brown has an OnlyFans and it's $20 a month. <laughs> and it said it proved that his career is over. Yes. But I think it's smart. He get a million fans, that's $20 million a month. Uh, yeah. Who's the dummy now? <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's true. The nigga, who, the lady nigga. Who was like an MMA fighter or some shit like that. She <laughs> wanted twenty dollars uh, on OnlyFans. She said, "I did pretty good." He said, "It kept the lights on in the house and some." Yeah, Bruh. yeah. I mean, I guess hell, if you got you know ten thousand fans, you'd be doing that twenty bucks a pop. You doing all right? This nigga is Chris Brown. He got well than more than a hundred million motherfucking fans. Like nigga, what? You know who got you know who felt this blunt way worse than anybody else? The nigga that wrote the article because he's making thirty thousand dollars a year. <laughs> <laughs> Take your bitch ass home and think about what you did. Well, it was actually, wrong. Get, if he had twenty million, if he had a million fans, he'd get fourteen million dollars. We got to get about all the fees and taxes. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> but that's fourteen free million dollars to do what? Take pictures? He do that? He, he, he ain't doing that. <laughs> He taking his shirt off again. Brandon, he do that shit on Instagram for free. That's how that's how stupid people live. You niggas finna purchase a nigga to show you pictures that they give free on Instagram. And if he taking his clothes off for twenty dollars, hmm. Now he hurt if he taking them drawers off. <laughs> now you riding a Schwanger Johnson, my nigga. You, check <laughs> you, you got some explaining to do. <laughs> Moving on to somebody else who got some explaining to do. This, understand this story right here. Me, Jermaine, and Brandon, we couldn't combine the money to buy this, even from Chinese currency. So a Belgian, y'all didn't read this story, a Belgian racing, a Belgian racing pigeon, pigeon, pigeon. he fetches the record of $1.9 million from a wealthy Chinese racing fan. Why are we racing pigeons? And why is a pigeon worth more than my entire my entire <laughs> lineage of my lineage lineage of my family? Yeah, our existence is worth <laughs> shit to this pigeon. Bro, he paid one point nine million dollars for a pigeon. What that motherfucker have coronavirus? Uh, I have a heart attack racing. You just lost one point nine million dollars on a pigeon. You can go to New York City, nigga, and find the finest pigeons in the world for yeah, free. Not racing and they'll pigeons. Let you take them. How do you train a racing pigeon? We need to get in on this. Hey man, I, I mean, I, I I was thinking the same thing, nigga. What a, what a cutoff at, nigga? What a, what a, what a, what a red tape at? Like, what y'all doing? How, how do you even race a pigeon and be like, yeah, this nigga came back first? Yeah. I'm upset that this nigga, this pigeon's worth more than my entire ex- you, existence, like I, my brother said. I don't but. ask the real question. A nigga can rate if you can if you can teach a pigeon to be a drug mule. You can teach a pigeon what? to drive a car. <laughs> you can teach a pigeon to race. You can probably teach that motherfucker to play football if you work hard enough. <laughs> and they put their hand on sombreros one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, them pigeons, even though they glued that shit on them, pigeons, them poor pigeon heads, them niggas didn't shake them off. <laughs> but, bro, a pigeon, $1.9 million. Like, what if a nigga sold you like a bullshitting pigeon? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's like, will it be? I don't look like Willie B. That nigga been dead 10 years, bro. We just keep replacing the monkey. We just keep replacing that pigeon. We get that motherfucker ketamine, a little goddamn adrenaline. He, he got he, he the, he the top pigeon. 
I'm sure. Waking up with some coke. Man, get up. <laughs> I'm sure the pigeon has to win some races first before somebody <laughs> dropping one <laughs> one point nine. Yeah. Nigga, boy, how do you how do you tell the difference between that race and pigeon or any other pigeon? Do you tattoo this pigeon? Dude, I'm sure the other pigeons aren't racing. They're just flying off. Like a race of pigeon, it, there's got to be like a, like a track, you know? They show sure you they how bored just, like, our throw the minds pigeons up are, in the air and, Yeah. Got them pigeon were one Think about that, Brent. They show you how bored our mind is, nigga. We we a nigga paid one point nine million dollars to watch a pigeon race. Well, fuck it. Come to the Tokyo Black Turtle Race, nigga. We gonna have two turtle racing to the finish line. Might take a while, nigga. But pick your picks. Uh, people do turtle race. They do. What yeah. the fuck am I been doing all my fucking life? Not turtle racing, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, shit takes. Today on Turtle Racing, we got Slopo and Slopo. Six weeks later, the race is still going. <laughs> All right. Now, nah, we got to put, we got to put a little flame on that ass. So, Brandon. Yes. Jermaine, how much would you pay? This is you don't fucked up your money, right? That nah. guy spent, he don't spoke, he fucked up his money spending $1.9 million on a race. <laughs> yeah. What's the lifespan of a pigeon? <laughs> Six months? <laughs> Shit, if he, if he racing $1.9 million again, nigga, everything. What did it cost you? Every, everything. <laughs> <laughs> so how much, Brandon, how much did you pay for the first license? What first license I mean the first plate? license plate. Uh, I don't know. I got a hundo. $100. Uh, Jermaine, well, you know, what about you? I got a, I got a zero. Nigga, that shit ain't important to me, nigga. Fuck that. I get one. I get one. I pay for one every year, nigga. You finna give me the first one? That don't make my <laughs> dick big. I don't want that. <laughs> so this is from Fox News. A man paid 170 G's. I hate when people use G's. Fox News. <laughs> right, they, say he, they said he... The first license plate was auctioned off for 170 G's. That, I mean, that's on. Um, that's a license plate that had ten on it, and the one that had zero as the very first one was five hundred thousand dollars. These these plates have been in use for a century. Can you Why, still folks? use them? Like, nah, they just like novelty shit, like collectors. Okay, uh, yeah. Like, uh, I, mean, that's I can money, go get a like... zero license plate anywhere. <laughs> nigga, you know you you know them nigga that tested this shit, graded this shit, nigga. That nigga, this authentic first license plate, nigga. This ain't none of that bullshit y'all talking about. None of them jail license plates, nigga. A real nigga made this. <laughs> <laughs> he had to miss the steel himself. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Yeah, that, this went, is insane though. Five hundred thousand dollars for the first license plate. I'm with I'm with Jermaine. This ain't exactly moving my meter, you know. Yeah, especially yeah, for yeah. half a mil. You know? Yeah, yeah like well, it's Batman, Batman number one. Like, that's a hard. That's a hard. I got the first license plate. All right. <laughs> Look at this, bitch. It's the first license plate. You know, I don't think panties are dropping over the first license plate. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know, yeah, ladies. But, comment below. Am I tripping? Are you, are you, does that make you moist the first license plate right in? I seriously doubt it. <laughs> Man, if, are you trying to pick up your old bitch or a young bitch? <laughs> that would never need to be the question. Like, you want one back in the 60s or the 40s. My bad. And the 20s. See, <laughs> bro, do you realize you need security just to hold your license plate? Because <laughs> it's $500,000. It's a license plate. That motherfucker, I can't. I, I mean, all you can do is eat. All he can do is do coke off of it. it it's worthless. It's well, he gonna sell it for something else. Moving on to somebody. This is Brandon hurt Brandon hard. It is, this is this did not hurt me and Jermaine hard. No. We have spent many of them thousands of dollars at Guitar Center. It has been. Well, we never been really ripped off. Guitar Center actually was a good place, but that you know, shit high as fuck too. You, you know no longer need. It. You no longer need to go in there. Yeah. So guitar Chapter Eleven. Yeah, Rears yeah, its ugly head. Chapter 11. Go yeah. ahead, Brandon. Sorry about that. No, 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 no. I was just saying chapter 11 rears its ugly head again. People ain't going to the guitar center. I didn't. I never found guitar center's prices to be like that far off from any other joint. You know, like I, they never seemed jacked up to me. I bought and I bought enough stuff there. Yeah. Nigga, you niggas just going in to play with shit, nigga. You want to buy that hell now? Nah, Infinite made that beat real quick and record it on my phone and take it back home and sample it. <laughs> Think about that. There you go, man. 
I seen Megan motherfuckers there making beats, bro, and just like chilling. And I'm like, bro, you been in, I, this nigga here had to be here all day long. He ain't this shit, ain't this shit fire, John. He talked to a nigga who trying to sell him the shit. I said, hey, bro. <laughs> These fucking him let him make no free music. <laughs> <laughs> nigga him making mixtapes and shit for free. <laughs> he folk- <laughs> well, you know, they got bored. Then how much we sold this week, Bub? <laughs> Not a drum set. <laughs> so nothing. <laughs> nothing. Yeah, uh, fuck all that. I love bank bankruptcy protection. Bro, I'm just I'm just yeah. saying, you know what the problem is with the, the new people? They don't even like to test their shit out before they, they get it sent to their house, use it and send it back. I get tired of packing up shit. I, don't, I ain't packed up nothing to send it back if I buy it off Amazon. I'm just saying. Dude, I'm that motherfucker to never shit, send shit back. Even if it's wrong, I'm just like, oh well. Yeah, yeah I keep <laughs> I it be moving. getting like that sometimes. Most of the time, I'm just I, like that. Man! I, Dude, I ain't got enough, you know, I'm about to be 40 years old. If I'm lucky, I'm halfway through my life. I ain't got time to be, like, packing shit back in a box, taking it to fucking UP yet. Dude, I'd rather rather just take the L. (laughs) I'd rather just take the L and keep it moving. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, I got a lot of L's in my crap. Uh, Moving on to somebody who took an L, mind your business. This is when we read stories about things that we should have minded our business and, you know, just kept it moving. But unfortunately, we had to take the L for reading that article, and this is a big, this is a big article. This is what I wanted Dusty here for, because I know he probably only one have seen this, and me and Jermaine seen it like years ago. So you learn something new every day from the Tokyo Black News and Review. Yes. So allegedly, the Indian guy from Short Circuit Two <laughs> was a white guy in brown face. I want to ask one real question: Do only white people <laughs> do white? Do do any other colors do white faces? <laughs> uh. Outside of Dave Chappelle, I can't think. Well, and white chicks. Well, no, no, no. I'm talking about like other races, other like other coaches for film. Do like Indian people have white people and they they own um, Bollywood movies? <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, they don't, bro. You look at them motherfuckers. Ain't no white folks no Bollywood movie, nigga. Please. It ain't that many white people on Asian movies. <laughs> it's like white people just here. They just be throwing themselves on everything. Genghis Khan, starring John Wayne. <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> Explain <laughs> it again. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to. Oh, look at his face, bro! I was totally blown away. I thought this. I thought this man was an Indian dude. And but he you know, I a ta- lot of shit from what I heard. I talked to KT, and KT was like, "I knew that. I knew he was a white man and fucking mud on his face." I was like, "What? I didn't know this shit." Bro, Sir, Short Circuit 2 is a horrible fucking movie any goddamn way. But why in the 80s we couldn't find one brown man? But then again, they did explain it. Only road they got was cab driver, a convenience store clerk. It's fucked up. Yeah, yeah, Trying to man. hold me back, bub. <laughs> got me typecast. <laughs> Apparently, back in the day, white people were doing white face, which... That's so meta. Yeah. No, I don't believe that bullshit. White people doing white face. How? Y'all already white. I only do. white people. I, 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 I'm only know. assuming white people like to go color. They like to go swapping their face out. I only accept one dude that did black face. Robert Downey Jr., he did a good black face. That was hilarious. That's, well, that's right. why we should have minded our business because I do remember Short Circuit too. Love I remember being a horrible circuit. fucking movie, but I totally Love. remember that guy being brown. Goddamn that white whole guy. time, bro, I swear to God, that dude was an Indian dude. I said, I like the way he act. He good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. White man tricked me again. Made me and pay taxes. There's a reboot coming for Short Circuit that no one asked for. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's really? Want to see some bomb? Uh, Lord have mercy. Dude, can we make new shit? I really missed it when we made new shit. Yeah, we just win the 80s out. I know, I love the 80s, but come on, man. Short Circuit was an okay movie. It is... <laughs> Oh, Short Circuit's great. Yeah, I used to love that Not movie as a kid. Too. Yeah, I when mean, they made him a gold robot. I mean, Short Circuit Two gets a little wacky. Yeah, but I mean, hell, even uh, even it's not without its charm. He becomes a citizen. Oh, spoiler warning for a thirty-five man, year old fuck movie. Fuck these new yeah. people, man! Y'all should have seen this shit years ago when it was good. 
Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll try to cut that part out if I remember. But yeah, but sure. television used to be good. Mm-hmm. Remember that when you can watch a movie a hundred times over and you'd be like, "Oh my god, I want that my favorite movie on now." So what's funny is here, you don't realize how bad the movies are until you look at the motherfuckers and their resolution. Yeah. Your ass been spoiled, boy. <laughs> I looked at a movie from the eighties. I said, "God damn, this look bad." All the pixels and shit shaking in your goddamn eyes. Yes. Yeah. What was, because oh. Bruce moves this shit up. Yeah, when we were watching the Dark Crystal, it was like that. Yeah, it was like, man, yeah, this is some low, low definition. Uh, <laughs> you know, I can't see bruh, every pore in that every puppet's time, body. Every time I look at marital children, bro, that shit said, well, stereo is available. I said, nigga, what? Nigga, when it's available, nigga, it's shit on every TV, right? I ain't even think about that shit till I looked at it. Think about it. Like, you know, nigga that had like stereo sound. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I just you want know, y'all to know one thing. We are the greatest. <laughs> the greatest goddamn generation ever. We we witnessed the computer. <laughs> we witnessed a pandemic. Terrorist attack. Another pandemic. Another goddamn falling of the economy. Them goddamn made it, baby. Still going strong. <laughs> oh, yeah. Them new age, baby. Boy, they're going to be done for a rap rap. Them, like Brandon said, he wants to teach and teaching them while they're at the bar sitting in a hammock. <laughs> they're going to be running the world in the next 30 years. Yeah. They'll be taking care of us when we're old. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, we'll be taking care of them. I'm like, what's going on? Moving on to the end is near, then we get yeah. ready to keep on going. We start this about is, that. If it, if it start with, if it says scientists discovered, us scientists, I mean, the end is near because they, they over there playing with something they shouldn't be. <laughs> so this is this is something right here. This is you know, the end is here. The end is near. So scientists grow a mini lung, many lungs in a lab, and they infect them with coronavirus and watch the battle in real time. And then you always sit back and you think, Nigga, we can create many lungs. What the fuck we still doing fighting COVID-19? That's the same shit I said when I read that bullshit. I said, you nigga creating physical, breathable lungs, nigga, and y'all giving it COVID? No, nigga. If a nigga got one bad lung from COVID, give him one of them fake lungs you done created, nigga. Probably that ain't gonna cost so. forty nine million dollars. Oh, we made many lungs, <laughs> nigga. How? This is some technology that may need to be used when a man lose his arm or something. Instead of you giving him a robotic piece of metal, that shit gonna form to his skin and turn this nigga into motherfucking arm. Damn, I can't even think of the anime right now when a nigga was on a motorcycle with the pill on his back. Oh, goddamn Akira. God, they gonna turn this nigga into a cure, nigga. We ain't got time for that. Dude, nigga getting like special it. goddamn T-180 goddamn tricks and shit. No. How many like, are we talking also? Because I got, could I get, when I was reading this story, I was just chuckling to myself because I could only imagine like a six-inch <laughs> pair of lungs. You know what I'm saying? They're like little bitty ass. <laughs> yeah. But you niggas are growing long, and we still have niggas in wheelchairs. Like, what the fuck are we doing? It's like, like we still in the old school pirate days when a nigga left, when a nigga lost his leg from a cannonball. You know what they had to do? Cauterize it and gave him a piece of wood. <laughs> nigga, this the best technology y'all have, dude. We could have all of that shit, except fucking for people who are all hung up on morality and shit. You know, like. <laughs> I say I blame capitalism. You gotta stay ten years behind so you can always be twenty years advanced yeah. with the company. No, nah, I blame fucking super religious people. Yeah, they they are holding they are holding us back. We should have been done, been able to grow a whole a whole nother body. You know, you should be able to like put one on ice. And then when you fuck yourself up riding a motorcycle with no helmet, they can just transfer your brain in this fucking I baked mean, up body you got already. All to carbon. Check niggas it out on made Netflix. movies about it. TV shows. Yeah. Nigga got to be real. But since it relies on like the cells of fetuses and shit like that, everybody's like, the fucking, you know, everybody's scared to play God. But fuck it, man. Let's get crazy. <laughs> yeah. Bro, we got a, we, we found a dolphin with feet. We just found two marsupials. It might be a good time to start playing God, because that means somebody numbers is finna start waving. Like the human humanity may go down, and then the animal population just increase. 
Yeah. You niggas yeah. absurd. Yeah. I couldn't even finish that article once I read. I said, you niggas created lungs, nigga, actual breathable. I sat there in my truck for a minute, looked out the sky like, I, I don't understand these niggas. Like, why are these white <laughs> folks in charge? I don't understand these niggas. They holding us back from evolution. Like, nigga, what? Y'all creating lungs, nigga? We don't want COVID no more. Make more human lungs, nigga. Make them bigger. I got I got a tooth knocked out in the back. You could have put that back in there by now if you make a human lung. Yeah. Pull them all out. <laughs> Give me a fresh 50 piece. How much they cost? $20,000. You can be filthy rich. Dude, I've got my grandfather right now who's dying of lung cancer. You mean to tell me he can't get a set of mini lungs just to, you know, <laughs> limp him along no. a little bit? No. They're going to cost yeah. him goddamn 400,000 Gs. Uh well, yeah, I mean, what he gonna do with them mini ass lungs? You have her have brand new little gummy bear lungs. He can't <laughs> live off that shit. <laughs> can make, if you can make if you can make a miniature horse, you can make a full body horse. If you yeah, can make miniature true. lungs, yeah. you can make full human lungs. Gummy bear Moving lungs. Moving on. Go ahead, Brandon. I was laughing at gummy bear lungs. I'm sorry. Let me think about that shit, nigga. You don't do th- like, bro. It's just absurd to me. Go ahead, Jamal. My bad. So this is another thing, man. So this ain't know the end is near. So the cruise line are trying to get trying to get started back up again. They need human guinea pigs for cruise ship test runs, and they let you get on for free. Yeah, if I could get off, if I could get right. off of work, I'd go on one. <laughs> oh, the buffet gone, bro. I don't know how they gonna feed them, motherfucker. Cause they said they can no longer <laughs> with COVID nineteen. They can't do the buffet. I wonder how that gonna work. Nah, dude, they're probably bringing meals to your room. Yeah. Do you really, bro? I got two problems with this story. First off, any nigga that can follow a story that said we need human guinea pigs <laughs> to get on a free cruise, you absurd. Something wrong with you, nigga. Because, you know, guinea pig is not a thing that survives, nigga. So think about that. Guinea pigs don't survive. No, get you, you some hand sanitizer, wear a mask, you'll be fine. Nigga, what are you going to do on that boat with all that breath around there? Nigga, don't go to no bar. It's a boat. It's an open air fucking boat. No, when you go downstairs in the casino, hanging out in the bar, what you going to do then? Fucking, I don't know. Get get an oxygen tank. You know, well, you saying? gonna need it, motherfucking, by next year, dude. I'd get, get one of, I'd get one of those di- like real super old school diving helmet with a fucking long ass fucking tube. Hang it outside in the fresh air, and then I just walk <laughs> you know, around. That shit weighed three hundred yeah. pounds. <laughs> it took forty men to bring you back up. Oh, I ain't talking about the whole suit. I just want the helmet. <laughs> you know. <laughs> The helmet had to be 160. You already said you got a bad shoulder. <laughs> it gonna break those on this. <laughs> so you put that shit on there. What happened to Brandon's shoulder? They folded up into the helmet. Oh, no, the first thing I would have said, watch this nigga, man, please. I don't know who let him on here with that weapon, but watch this nigga, man. Please. I mean, technically, you could get like a modern day snorkel now and just put a long ass tube on it, you know? And that yeah, thing bro. doesn't weigh nothing. No, my problem is. Y'all niggas just going to float in the ocean for a week because you know you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and y'all can't dock nowhere once the boat get covered in COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Don't nobody even think about the real shit. Like, where, yeah. where y'all going to dock at? We, 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 we on a permanent lockdown in America, nigga. You got to stay on that boat for two months. Uh, hey, man. <laughs> you start shitting off the side. You'll be all right. Nigga, please, you don't lost your job. Megan going, hey, all, all that shit gone, nigga. You gonna, what you going to call him? Say, I'm on a boat for two months. Nah, my nigga, it's a rap rap for you. <laughs> need somebody to do your job ASAP. Not tomorrow, not two months from now. Like, now, now. Yeah, hell, I might be able to remote in. Yeah. You, oh, nigga. you got to pay for the internet package. <laughs> they won't get an internet fee. What do you mean you ran out of money? <laughs> nigga, you said it was a test run. You got everything free beside the internet. How much is it? One thousand dollars a week. <laughs> God damn, nigga! Really trying to get your money back, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you cheap bastard. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm. Just, I don't know. I'm not gonna get on the cruise yet. It's a lot of goddamn people. A lot of people get drunk. You keep going in out the restroom. People falling out and shit. Hey, man. I just need the cruise line to go down just a little bit more. Buy me a couple more shares, and then they can go up, baby. <laughs> Run that shit. Moving on to conspiracy theory. This is where we have our small conspiracy theory. We have one every week, mostly. So when Jermaine come back, I know he want get to get in on this. So he, he brought this to our attention, that the Hyperloop hits 1,000 miles per hour in no, Korea at the Virgin. 
It hits 1,000 kilometers per hour. Oh, I'm sorry. How fast is that? Uh, give me just one second. Let me... Oh, so he don't know either people, so don't be laughing when I say how how much is that? It's always like one or two it's, people who know that shit. It's six hundred and twenty one miles per hour. Ah oh, shit. What version went? Five hundred? Um shit. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Why do you want to go six hundred and twenty five miles an hour in <laughs> in the I guess Korea need it. Korea needs it. Unlike America, we don't really need that shit. What are you serious? What? Come on, man. Five hundred miles an hour. Let's do it. What? Yeah, when your half follicles come back on your head, you're like, damn, that was amazing. Yeah. Oh, you talking about that fucking train? No, yeah, the fucking hyperloop's only a hundred miles an hour. Which no, I mean, that shit went up. That shit was four hundred. Look at 400. it. For the first time, two people rode a hyperloop pod through a nearly airless tube at a hundred miles per hour. I'm looking at the thing right now. Or at least the Verge is reporting it was 100 miles an hour. Bro, I read that shit say 400 miles, bro. The niggas in Japan boost that shit to a whole thousand. Well, Nigga, what? It was it was it, it wasn't a thousand. Yeah, it was miles a thousand. Per hour. It, was, it was a thousand kilometers per hour. It's oh, six hundred okay, six hundred and twenty five. It's six hundred and twenty one miles per hour, which ain't nothing to sneeze at. I mean, that's fucking stroking, yeah. You know? But. <laughs> Yeah, man, imagine if you could fucking just ride a train across the country and it wouldn't take you but fucking, you know, four hours. Oh, fucking sad from, no, nigga, from Virginia to New York, 30 minutes. Yeah. Well, I'm talking, okay, so across the whole well, fucking country. I, you know? At least from fucking Cali to fucking Western Night, you know that shit would be about two hours, two and a half. And yeah, boy, it takes 15 years to build that. Nigga, you'll have a job for 15 years and could probably retire off of it. <laughs> yeah. You gonna have all type of health problems. What type of metal this is, nigga? I don't know. Vibranium, nigga. It's sick, <laughs> dude. I'm willing to. I might be willing to roll the dice on that. That'd be neat. Only thing I can say is only one person ain't gonna let you have that shit. You kill the airport. You put them out of business. Yeah, I right, mate. Well, that just uh, fucking get off your ass and make planes faster. Yeah, <laughs> or make hey, your flight hey, cheaper. Hey. I yeah, didn't think about that, but yeah, you but the airport game be over with. <laughs> mm. They be having snack bars and shit in, on, on the thing going ninety miles an hour. You want a cocktail? Give me t- <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey, look, you won't need a whole bunch of planes no more. Spirits, you gone. No more your badass serving. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> it probably down be... the carbon monoxide. We be good to go. Probably be better oh, yeah. for the environment and shit. Yeah, planes <laughs> burn a lot of fuel. Flies off the rail. Do we have a whale hand? <laughs> no. We're going into the ocean. <laughs> yeah, no whale tail here. We're going to eat this fucking concrete barrier at 620 miles an hour. At least, at least your head explode when you right. hit it. At least you're going to get turned instantly into paste. You ain't going to feel a thing at 621 yeah, miles an hour. Yeah. Straight into space death. First contact, nigga. Right. Yeah. That thing is going to crumple into like flat as a sheet of paper and you'll be inside <laughs> of it just <laughs> you'll be fine I they, mean, gonna people get bury a, yeah. they gonna bury a piece of the ship i think that's him we're just gonna bury this little piece of the ship that's little mm-hmm. as in memory of his body <laughs> they turned to confetti and dust motherfucker look like a penny got ran over by a train yeah <laughs> <laughs> Who gonna clean leave that shit in the ocean? <laughs> Brandon, have you seen uh Raised by Wolves? You probably no, haven't. I have not. Nah, it's on HBO. Hey Jamal, that second that first episode at the end, that second episode in the end, what was it? Second and the end of first, first episode. That was that was show. that's what them niggas gonna be looking like. All that blood. Hey, look. You ever played um Dead Space? Yeah, I played the first one, yes. You know how you nigga looking zero grail once he got done splatting shit that went floating around now? Vaguely, yes. Yes, that's look, what it's gonna look think like. It's like gonna, like gonna be blood it's gonna be blood particles in the air just floating like nigga, it's zero grab, nigga. We don't go nowhere. You you remember how Nightcrawler disappeared in X Men United? Yeah. Yes. Think about somebody <laughs> blowing your ass up with their eyes and that's all they see is that little dust that Nightcrawler leave. <laughs> that's all that's gonna be there. Oh yeah, yeah, just a red mist. Yeah, yeah it can be like this, huh? Damn, that shit killed them pretty good. Bring the train back up. It's made out of it's made out of titanium. It'll survive. Yeah. 
Get out of that poison blood out of here, though. <laughs> it's haunted. <laughs> so moving on to white folk, black folk, crazy news, only four stories, and then we'll wrap the show on up. I know we went a little long, but this shit was actually an amazing show. Sorry, Dustin and Christian couldn't be a part of this shit, but we'd be killing it, man. So this story is from NBCnews.com. This is brought to you by Brandon. A fight club in New York with 200 people broken up by authorities. Dude, I mean, I, I don't know. I guess it'd be fun to gamble and drink and watch these two motherfuckers just beat the fuck out of each other. As long as I ain't got a fight, you know. Or maybe I would. I don't know. I'd have to see three or four rounds. Would and, you yeah. really get in Fight Club with a nigga that want to be in Fight Club? I, hey, look, bro. Hell, no, I ain't with, I'm going to shoot one of them motherfuckers. I ain't with all this fighting shit. You got a lot of explaining to do when you come to work with your eye broken, your tooth missing, your cheek swollen, and your kidneys gone. Nigga, how you lose both kidneys? That's the loss of the fight. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I've never, like, really been in a fight, per se. Like, not a... Yeah, not in a good square up fucking fight. What, white boy? Yeah, hand to God, man, I've only been in like a handful of fights in my whole life. Yeah, typically I avoid things that are going to get my ass beat, so, yeah. Look at Jamal over there. That nigga don't got in a million fights. Tough as they can be. I don't see this nigga punk big niggas out. Damn, boy, look at him. <laughs> really? And all, he was, everybody oh, yeah, don't got punked talk. out before in their life. We all got punked out before in our life, but I'm punking some niggas out. Two in the kidneys, one in the jaw. Jermaine, yoke him out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My big brother had my back. He huh. was knocking yeah. niggas and fighting the fucking schoolyard. Always winning. Yeah. Real I never, talk. I never figured Jamar would be fighting. Yeah. Yeah, all the motherfucking time. We ate we had off the record. We'll talk about it one day. <laughs> yeah, that when he was that when he was crazy, Mark. Yeah, so he, he had to throw them fist cuffs every now and then. But oh, moving well, on, and what so what Chris cool. say about this story? <laughs> Guess the motherfucker broke the first rule of Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> first and second. Yeah, then you got Corona going on, so you breaking, you really breaking the law now. Oh yeah. Right. They, they Would were... you want to be a nigga that called Corona? How'd you catch it? I was at a I was at a club. What type of club? Somebody had to catch it, the Rona and tell about the Fight Club. I would. Well, at least you caught it beating somebody's ass and not out at the Publix because fucking Karen won't put her mask on. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, if you're going to catch it, at least catch it whipping some ass. Yeah. Don't catch I it off a fucking Tweedledum out there coughed on your fucking five piece. She would have got that five piece. I don't, I don't understand <laughs> people like if you woke up that morning and cough on me or anything I'm holding, be prepared to get them. That you know that five piece. <laughs> oh shit! Fun. I told him he got hit with a two piece. What is a two piece? <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, amazed how white people don't know what certain shit is, but that five piece, boy, god damn, boy, at <laughs> that Monty Tyson <laughs> shit yeah. make you retire. Don't call on shit of mine if you don't want to get that get that shit. Just let you know. So moving on to Fox News, another story. Fox News. They just having a great week. I don't know why we. I just report their names sometimes. So moving on, Disney Springs. I don't know what the fuck that is. Do you know what that is, Brandon? Dude, I think Disney it's like, Springs. I think it's like an area around Disney. Surprisingly, you know. Okay, but so yeah, Disney I think it Spring. is actually affiliated with Disneyland in some way. How many piece? How many? How many sections of Disneyland do you need? It's got to be at least four or five of them not profitable right now. <laughs> well, all of them not profitable at all. Right. I'm talking about just doing the regular season. I mean, what? you know, I mean, fuck, as many people that come there, yeah, you you need it, you know, spread out. If you got everybody in the Magic Kingdom, you're gonna be assholes going to and elbows go, in there. Oh, you, yeah. we're going to Epcot Center for what? Epcot ain't bad. I went one time when I was like young and thought it was pretty cool. I haven't been back since. So you also thought short short circuit was a great move as a child. Oh come <laughs> on, know. man. Okay. Dude, come on. You're crazy. Short circuit rule. Well, it's a great movie. But, you know, the things you see as a child is not what you see as an adult. <laughs> I, I have to go back and watch it. I have to see if I got the rose-colored glasses on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so this guy got caught walking around with a BB gun loaded. I don't even I don't even ask how you get in with a BB gun. And he claimed he was a DEA agent. Yeah. Can he, you figure out what color he was? Oh, come on. He was as white as... Fucking the driven snow. Yeah. yeah. Why my people do this? You know what I'm saying? What made you think, hey, you needed 
You needed a BB gun that looked like a Glock. Like, see, you got a fake badge telling people you're a DEA agent when you don't look. You do not look like a DEA. Old enough to be a fucking DEA agent. Well, A, for one, or smart enough. You know? I mean, this dude looks a little dim. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, he, said, I, well, he ain't too damn if he got in a Disney spring with a BB gun loaded. Well, it's not. It like, is absurd. I'm up the hotel. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was something like that. It wasn't like he was in. He was riding the teacups with a fucking BB gun. That didn't happen at all. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you his mom and dad like we just come in so he can get the fuck away from us. <laughs> oh hell no, nah, we finna lock him up. Lock Man. him up. <laughs> Y'all come back to get him. He'll be free on Monday. <laughs> he'd be like this. Yeah, we'll be back there. He's a resident of Florida now. What do you got, little California? Uh, <laughs> you motherfucker came all the way to California. You could have went to Disney World in California. It's closed. You got to drink him to Florida for one last hoorah. <laughs> Isn't it just crazy that, like, <laughs> you lost in the system? <laughs> that situation would be 100% different, nigga. Like, what? Why are you even... Well, he get a DEA jacket from. Oh, you can buy them online now. My bad. They asked to speak to his supervisor, and he couldn't provide a telephone number, of course. Yeah, nigga, fold yeah. fo- these nuts, nigga. You see these guns? Dude, how do you set up a fucking elaborate ruse like that and not at least have your homeboy on another end of a phone to answer the phone and at least try to pretend to be your fucking DEA agent boss. You know? He ain't got no friends. He finna get left in Florida <laughs> on some humbug shit because his parents tired of his ass. That nigga was a DEA agent. He was an FBI agent the week before. He gotta go. Like Jermaine said, lock him up. He's now a resident of Florida. Yeah. Get this nigga about a good week in jail to think about what he did. We been there with them hard body. What you more say them what? Hard pipe hard hitting. Pipe hitting nigga. <laughs> yeah, once you been there with them motherfuckers for about a good week. Nah, how you feeling today, Jimmy? I feel great. What's wrong with you? I can't sit down. I'm gonna say I feel good. <laughs> when I, when I get out of jail, <laughs> he get out of jail. I'm like, where's my mom and dad? Bro, you been here for six years, nigga. You ain't even realized. <laughs> Y'all killing me with this. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, you know, you might be some, might be something wrong with you. Yo, you know, your avenue of time is fucked up. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, uh, hey, is that it, little poor white boy? It's gonna be this, hell for him. This another alleged white man. They call him a poach pirate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are people, people who we steal lost, your. We like lost like 1.2 billion dollars too, and people stealing packages. Yep. Please quit stealing people's shit. They pay hard. They pay good money for that shit. If you get caught stealing somebody's packages, I should be able to cut off both your hands. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot your fucking toes off, nigga, because you can't <laughs> run on nobody's front porch no more. Uh, you, you really went Old <laughs> Testament there, huh? <laughs> no, I, I, I went third world country right there. Because a, a dude told me he was from fucking China, right? That motherfucker said, if you get caught stealing, they cut a hand off, and then guess what? Nobody talked to you because they know you steal because you missing a hand. I said, God damn, boy, lead by example. Yeah. yeah I bet you, hey, look, where his anxiety at, nigga? <laughs> like, well, he got other problems, nigga, but real. Bro, I can't stand when people are stealing stuff. That's my shit. Yeah, you know, that ain't right. Then you know the company going to fuck me on it. Bruh. The fucking Amazon dude, I, you know, the camera on the on, on doorbell go off all the fucking time. I'm looking at the camera. This dude lays the two packages down in front of my door, takes a picture, and walks off. I'm like, nigga, hit the doorbell. Like, this shit could have been sitting out here all night long. A nigga could have been just wandering through the neighborhood. Hey, I left two packages here, nigga. He just <laughs> run away with them. Like, hit the doorbell. What if I was asleep? <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. Yeah, man, I'm still my. You cut that. I, I promise you cut out both hands. He can no longer drive. <laughs> he, he can't do shit. Still another package. Man, every nigga in America be a hard working citizen. Like, nigga, you, you, nigga, I got one hand. Oh, you a thief? Nah, no, mine fell off when I was a kid. Nigga, you lying. You a thief. <laughs> <laughs> that's a meat, that's a meat cleaver cut. Yeah, nigga, you a thief. Nigga, you got a hook for him hand, nigga, because you stole. <laughs> you can't work here, bro. You can't work here, bub. <laughs> Can't have you in the neighborhood, <laughs> bub. You still. <laughs> yeah, sorry, bub. Got a whole nigga over here looking like Seamus, bub. Got to go. 
<laughs> looking like motherfucking shame. It's like, nigga, nah, you stole with your toes, nigga. You don't want no limbs, nigga. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you cut off a hand, bro. All the motherfuckers will stop stealing. Moving on to one man. Uh, we gotta. Sometimes we gotta recalculate what we call art, or what we consider to be an artist or a street artist. Yeah, you know we can't all have a Banksy out there, but this man dressed up as a giant rat takes subway mass requirement to new height. This is only white people. <laughs> I think he was in your black people don't do this shit. So he dressed up. He had a regular suit on, suitcase. And he had a rat, and a big old rat head. And he would just stand up in the chair and act like a rat. What part of that? What part of that is considered art? Uh, none of it in my eyes, but. I mean the the rat mask was pretty hilarious, you know. I like I would have found it more funny if he was just like reading the paper and just acting all normal in the rat mask, and if he had, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you like that, bro. I ain't got time for them type of fucking shenanigans. You ruining my train experience <laughs> ex- ex- experience with that bullshit. Like you just see black people be talking loud, you be like, man. Can y'all niggas be quiet? You know, I'm trying to be. Qu- I'm trying to be a civilized. Uh, could you, American nigga, please train. turn down whatever he, he, you, he, y'all you know, listen to? You niggas go with that shit, and then be talking. You know, you can see white people putting their head down. Fuck you, looking at cracker. I said, yep, y'all know what time it is. About time to get off and wait for the next train. <laughs> Hey, when I see that shit be wrong like that, man, that white boy done fucked up. He should have never said nothing to them niggas. <laughs> Hey, bro. Hey, yeah. look. I'm going to say the one thing about this train shit. It's utterly ridiculous. Nigga, I don't, I don't, I don't care what you like. What, whatever your music choice is, nigga. I don't care. I don't want to hear it. Nigga, you know what I mean? Why be yes, on the train? I agreed. just want to chill. This nigga around here got his cell phone. He got one of them attachable Bluetooth to his hip playing that loud ass music. All right, nigga, you played a good song right now, nigga. Then cut that shit off, nigga. I'm done, nigga. I just got out of work, nigga. I got a problem. I got to go home and talk to my old lady about some bullshit, nigga. I don't want to hear that bullshit. I need to concentrate. This fuck nigga here playing goddamn a new street hit. <laughs> nigga, I don't hear that shit. Yeah, nigga. Stop it, sir. That's why you I know, don't... it just blows my mind. That's why I don't take public transportation. Yeah. Me either. I drive my... How much parking is? $40? Fine by me. Yep. Nigga, I ain't getting no public yeah. transportation. Tell, I said, bro, you know how long I caught the bus? Man, I had a lot of good experience on the train and the bus. Not good experience, but like, you know, good memories, my bad. But like, nigga, I caught that shit for almost 12, 13 years. Longer than that, probably. I will stay off the buses. No, nah, it wasn't that long, Jamal. About 10 years. Probably 10. I told a motherfucker I would stay off the bus and the train as long as I can, nigga. God willing, nigga. I'll ride a bike to my destination before I get back on the motherfucking bus, nigga. If it's possible, nigga. I'll buy me a scooter, nigga. They like you don't like the bus. I love city transit. I said only white folks say that shit. Nigga, I ain't never heard no black motherfuckers that like city transit. Nigga, no, nigga. I got I don't want to catch the bus. Tell them <laughs> you know why, what? Jamal. You know why white people say that shit? Because they drove to the train station. What about the nigga who been sitting in the rain waiting on the bus because it's late as hell? Because the other monkey-ass nigga when the bus people, just, when Marta decided to give you a nice place to call a home to wait for the bus, y'all too busy stabbing the shit with a knife. So then everybody got to wait outside. <laughs> they didn't have fucking heaters on them and everything back in the day. But you fucking hillbilly tell up every goddamn thing. <laughs> Yeah, a mean, white person drive a martyr. That's why they love public transportation. Talk to the nigga who had to run to catch the bus. Cause, cause cause bro, we that bus, bus driver was a bitch ass nigga like the one you do <laughs> me and Jamar. He ain't <laughs> like kids, bro. He ain't like kids. I understand somebody hit you with a Clorox bomb because you an asshole. You know, somebody <laughs> had a water blown and hit him with it, bro. He'll see us running. That motherfucker will not stop, bro. <laughs> Until he get to the... Hey, look, if we don't catch that nigga in time... He pull up to that bus stop and go to the next one. It's a wrap. We gotta wait for another bus. And me and Jamal just get on the bus. That nigga look like this nigga look like Blackula. If you ever seen the movie Blackula, he look like the Black Dracula with them fucking sideburns. Me and Jamal, I can't stand this bitch ass nigga, man. We wanted to beat him up so goddamn bad. You see, white people ain't gotta do that. You went last time you had to run for a bus so you can be on time for work. Brandon, Never. it got so bad we couldn't even say nothing to the nigga because he put us out the bus one time right up the street. I was like, man, Jamal, like, man, we're gonna beat this nigga ass. Man, I can't stand <laughs> it. Fuck, man. 
Yeah, I apologize do. for the N word, but I was just like, bro, we're gonna beat this motherfucker up, man. It's gonna be his not his day. I don't think Hopefully I've he... ever ridden a Marta bus. I've been Hopefully he's burning in hell. I've ridden the train three times, I think. What? Motherfucker, that was my tr- way to college and work every day. Uh, there ain't no fucking way, Jack. <laughs> yeah. Nigga ain't had no car, nigga. That's all I had. My means of getting money was dumb bus. Fifty dollars. Mm. Yeah, I guess if I had to. Yeah. Not no more, bro. Niggas don't yeah. ride. Niggas, I said, y'all not getting around the bus. I don't ride the bus. That shit dangerous. I said, nigga, what? <laughs> oh, you bougie, huh? You got a car? Nah, my mama take me everywhere. I said, yeah, nigga, wait. <laughs> yeah, fuck wait that nonsense. Because nice one thing about me ain't getting on the bus no more. I'm with Brandy. Let's catch the train and go downtown. For what? Right. I was sitting in traffic. Dude, uh, yeah, man, fuck that. I will pay the $30 to park. I don't give a, I do not give a shit. I want to hear my music. You know what I'm saying? I don't want anybody's funky ass body odor up in my nostrils. Yeah. And that one crazy ass nigga who got a dollar sitting to five who was able to get on the bus. Right. Yeah, I don't want to have to. This nigga walking through the trains, causing havoc, wreaking havoc, yeah. slapping bitches. I'm like, that, bro, Brandon. Me and Jamal can give you so many train stories, bro. It's just fucking ridiculous. But I'm just like this. I don't want that experience anymore, nigga. When I get in my car, nigga, it take me 10 minutes to get somewhere and not three hours, nigga. Because we had to get to school, Brandon, go to Decatur. If I had an 8 o'clock class, nigga, I better be on that bus at fucking what? 6 o'clock? 5.30. 5.30. Fuck. Nigga, what? You don't know you don't know the struggles? No, no, sir. Because you want to be there early. <laughs> yeah. So you don't become the class like late. Seven thirty-five, seven forty-five, some shit like that. Yeah, no, man. Like I said, I've never. I don't think I've ever ridden a public transportation bus that I can remember. <laughs> Mighty white of you. I know <laughs> Dust ain't never been on no public transportation. Dust a bit. I think he has actually. I think he's probably transportation. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's. I think he's been on more public transportation than me. I want to have that Marta experience, For nigga. Some what? Reason. Yeah. Ride it at night, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I see white these... people. The Marta experience is not what you think it is, <laughs> nigga. Think Five Points a good, good station. <laughs> have you been there at nighttime, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nigga? You have you been there during the daytime, nigga? When ain't no games going on. Yeah, you better stick to that Midtown route. Yeah. <laughs> you bet to. All right, so we're ready to wrap it on. It was a great show. How long did we go, Brandon? Super long? Yeah, long enough. <laughs> we ain't getting two hour mark, did we? No, no, no. Good, good, man. Good, man. So we're going to have one great episode of 111. This shit, this shit was actually funny as hell. Dusty and Christian going to be mad they missed this episode. Well, I appreciate you guys for coming out. It was a great, great episode. I always remember, people, this Trump America, boy. For another two months. Mm-hmm. Yep. Then in Biden time. Well, we'll I ain't see. got nothing else, man. I really oh, appreciate, I got you. Well, I appreciate Shout everybody. out to all the models. Don't cut me out, homeboy. Slow your roll, player. I was always remember. Toes. When somebody asks you, do you want to live in another country, what do you tell them? <laughs> Living in America. Thank you, sir. Moving on, I'm going to give it to Jermaine. My, my apologies for stepping on your toes, big bro. I know you were salsa dancing and shit. But I want to tell everybody, I appreciate everybody coming out to uh, 111. We always have a good time. The three uh, meek hoes and the mother motherfucking boy. God damn, we're going to take them off our meal plan. Whatever. Don't forget, go to TokyoBlackWorld.com. Shop away. Go to Tokyo Black on Instagram. Tokyo Black on the Facebooks, as my brother like to say. Tokyo Black Pod, Tokyo Black Owl Podcast. Sprint going to re- resuscitate all this same shit. Come on, you got anything to say if you don't like our podcast? If I say the N-word too much, I'll pay you $50 if you listen to the show. And if I don't say the N-word one whole day, nigga, you know you ain't winning no money. I'm going to say the N-word every motherfucking day. And we appreciate everybody coming out and coming through. And don't forget to follow Christian Terry as I'm going to let Brandon do all that shit. Brandon got all the goddamn deeds. We should have cut half of that out. We we needed that Oscar sound right there, Brandon. (laughs) <laughs> Fuck you. B Rock. What's up? It's your boy B Rock, the White Liaison. Don't forget you can call in to the show, uh, 470 387 1942. Leave some voicemails and we will play your voicemails. We'll do it. I promise. 
Uh, don't forget you can write in to Tokyo Black Hour at gmail dot com. Yeah. Uh, check us out on Facebook at Tokyo Black. Uh, check us out on Twitter at Tokyo Black Pod. Uh, you can catch us on Apple, Google Play. Well, I guess not Google Play anymore. Uh, yeah, I just Spotify, etc. Wherever podcasts are played, we're there. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, don't forget to check out Christian's books, Ten Lives, Seven Lives, on sale now. Uh, Endless Ink Publishing's. Uh, uh, no shit. What's the other one? Uh, dusty, Dusty on the gram. Yeah, uh, yeah. Don't forget to check out Dusty is Certifiable on the gram. And uh, every Saturday morning, uh, check out Jack's podcast, uh, That Pointless Podcast, and the uh, Common Ride With Me podcast. And don't forget to check out uh, movies my girlfriend hasn't seen, where I make my girlfriend watch all the classic movies she hasn't seen. I almost forgot our tagline. <laughs> um, <laughs> Next movie going to watch is fucking Circuit. Circuit one. What was it? Oh, short, short circuit. circuit one and short circuit two. <laughs> you can't find that shit nowhere. Which I don't know why you're making a reboot. <laughs> yeah, and uh, oh yeah, hold on a second. So, uh, big shout out to our uh, overseas listeners. Uh, we got Russia coming in first place with five. Canada got four. United Kingdom's got four. New Zealand's got four, and Australia rounds it out with two. So. Yeah, appreciate uh appreciate everybody overseas who's checking us out. Tell your friends. We'll give them a shout out. Hey, if you want to give your friend a shout out, send us an email. Yeah, true that. Like I said, right in. Call in. Do something, please. Yeah, goddamn, hurry up. Yeah, I'm tired of working. I need you know need them numbers to get up so we can start selling some of this advertisement space. Get some MeUndies fucking money flowing through here. Please, yeah. We need some. Yeah. Butcher box. <laughs> Holler at us. I'm ready to sell out, baby. Yeah, hell yeah. Hey, look, if you're a big corporation wants to give you a shout out, we got you. Mm. Anything. Yeah. Other than that, I ain't got shit else, y'all. I want to give a shout out to the Pig Feet Hut. They gave us nothing, and I just want to give them a shout out to them. <laughs> <laughs> we done. Bye.